Hey guys, welcome back. AF Math and Engineering, Fred here. And we are going to do a quick question on LU factorization. Okay, so we're doing a numerical analysis example. So let's get right into it. Consider the, fa the matrix A equals, we have a three by three matrix. Uh, the question asks us to find uh, the LU factorization of A without pivoting. Important, very important. Uh, the second part asks us to use LU factorization in A to find the determinant of A. Perfect. So let's go ahead, uh, let's start with A, and uh, what, what is the LU factorization? Well, uh, we, what we do is we row reduce, and then from that row reduction, when we have the left lower triangular portion of the matrix as zero, uh, we can take, we can turn the matrix into two matrices, L and U, okay? And L times U is equal to A. Okay, so we're gonna break A up into two separate matrices, and using those matrices, we can perform some operations in order to uh, help us out with uh, determining some, some things. So let's take a look. The first step of LU factorization involves row reducing. So we wanna make the bottom lower triangular left portion of the matrix zero, all zeros, okay? But there's a little trick when we do LU factorization, okay? And, uh, and the trick as well in this question is that they don't want us to use pivoting. So what does that mean? Well, without pivoting means that we're not allowed to flip the rows or change the order of the rows in the matrix. So the, the, the order in which the, the rows are in the matrix is set. We're not allowed to move those around. Okay, luckily in this question, our first uh, number here is one. Okay, so we can just multiply uh, or we can subtract each row by uh, some factor of R1. If this entry here wasn't one, we would need to divide this whole row by some number to make it one. But since it's one, it's really easy. Uh, it's easy to make a factor of, of one of these and just subtract. So uh, this is gonna be a pretty straightforward problem. Uh, just look out for that if that does occur. So let's take a look here. Um, let's do our first row reduction. And we're gonna start with our initial matrix here. We have negative one, two, four, zero, one, negative three, one, negative three. Okay, and we want to eliminate um, the first two uh, values here, in uh, or the second and the third value in this column. So how do we do that? Well, we go, we're going to have to subtract R2 in this case by some multiple of R1. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have R2 minus, and we're always subtracting in LU's factorization, okay? Always subtract and always keep the negative over here in the factor that you use, okay? So that's important. Okay, so what do we need to multiply R1 by in order to um, eliminate uh, our, this R2 entry? Okay, and it's four. So four times one is gonna equal four. So if we uh, multiply four times R1, so, uh, and what that's going to do is that's gonna give us, uh, if we do four minus four, right? Four times one, that's gonna be four. This is going to end up being zero. Okay, and that's what we want. We want these two, three numbers to be zero. So how do we get this number to be zero? Okay, so we're gonna go R, R3, okay, minus, and uh, well, we want to have a positive three value here, so it's gonna be minus three plus three. So how do we do that? Well, we go R3 minus, minus three, R1, okay? So we're gonna multiply minus three by R1 here, and that should give us this value becoming zero, okay? And what do we get from that? Well. This is going to give us a matrix of one, negative one, two, four, seven, negative seven, sorry, negative two, and three. Now, the difference between normal row reduction and row reduction in LU factorization is we're going to retain these factors here, okay? So these factors here, we are going to write in a different color. So these, are, these values are zero in the matrix, okay? So don't get this number that I'm writing down confused with the number that's in the matrix. So I'm gonna put them in brackets and I'm gonna put them in a different color because we need those for our L matrix, okay? So this is, uh, we're just gonna take this number here, that's going to be in this slot, and we're going to take this with the negative here, and that's going to stay here, okay? So, but once again, those are not numbers in the matrix, they're just kind of placeholders that we're gonna use later to form our L matrix. Now, uh, we do need to make this number here zero, okay, negative two. So how do we do that? Well, we need to perform another row operation. We're not allowed to pivot. Okay, and what we're gonna do here, okay, because we can't uh, use R1 anymore because then that's going to give this a uh, non-zero number. So we're gonna need to work with R3 and R2, okay? So in order to, uh, we, we would like to 
take negative two and we'd like to add two to it. So in order to do that, we're going to need a negative times a negative, okay? And that's going to be one half times R2, okay? So a negative one half times four, okay? Uh, that's going to be negative and then a negative plus a negative is gonna be a positive, okay? That is going to give us a zero value here, okay? So let's just come over here. And finally, after this row operation, we're going to get negative one, two, and once again, I'm, I'll write those in after, that's fine. We have four and negative seven, and finally we have negative one half after performing this operation. Now, we're, we're back to these numbers here. I explained how, why those are there. And let's take a look at the factor, that's negative one half. Okay, cool, perfect. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty much what we need in order to convert this to LU factorization. Okay, so pretty straightforward, okay? So I'm gonna say therefore L, okay, and I'm gonna give it two lines underneath for matrix, is equal to, is, uh, what you're gonna do is for the diagonal, the main diagonal, you're gonna put ones, okay? For the upper right triangular portion, that's gonna become zeros, and for the bottom left triangular portion is going to be these numbers that we wrote in red, okay? So we have four, negative three, and negative one half. Okay. That's our L. Okay, u is going to be equal to, uh, and we're going to make the bottom left triangular portion of the u matrix zero, and we're just going to include the black numbers here. So the numbers that we didn't write in red, so all the numbers that aren't zero go into the u. So we have one, negative one, two, four, negative seven, and negative one half. Okay, so that's question, uh, the part of the question A that's finished. Okay, we have LU factorization done without pivoting. Now B asks us, okay, to f use LU factorization to find the determinant of A. And that's really straightforward, okay? All we have to do to find the determinant of A, okay, the determinant of the matrix A is simply the determinant of matrix L times the determinant of matrix U. Okay, and you can do this in your calculator too. We, I, we've done a calculator uh, matrix video before on how to put matrices into your calculator, not a graphing calculator, by the way. So uh, if you wanna go refer to that, check it out. Um, I'm not going to do the determinant by hand or in the calculator, I'm just gonna write down what the determinant R is. So the determinant of L is one, okay? And the determinant of U is going to be one, times four times one half, okay. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We just go ahead and calculate that out and you're gonna get negative two, okay? So the determinant of matrix A is negative two. That's pretty much it, pretty quick question. Like, like I said, all, pretty much everything in this course is just free marks, as long as you can avoid making really silly mistakes. AF Math and Engineering, like and subscribe.